excited to be going in. It's the first time, like I said, I've been to Manhattan since March 8th for the Madeira show. Um, I have an off the radar fashion show. That was right at the start of the pandemic. That was the last time I've been in Manhattan. Last time I've not gone to any kind of show. So um, it's an appointment only. It's not the actual show itself. I think that's digital only. I don't think it's going to be obviously no attendees at the actual show. It's a fitting day, uh, a fitting day event, kind of before the show, interview models and uh, designers. So it's by appointment only, the staggering appointments. So I'm meeting my photographer and Martin there, as I said. And uh, we're going to do, do some shooting, do some interviews, um, and we get some footage of the city itself. Uh, it's changed quite a bit. Um, and then later on, I don't know, like maybe later next week, I might meet another photographer. He's gonna go outside to bring studios and maybe shoot. But there's not much to shoot. Maybe no attendees. Maybe just uh, the models and uh, uh, a few other people coming and going. It's limited to 50 people all in. That's including hair, makeup, models, press, whoever's directing the show. So um, yeah, that's not a lot of people. There's all outdoors on the roof of Spring Studios. So very very different uh, fashion week. I hope you guys can hear me with the wind. I lost my my little micro muff that puffs the wind, so you probably can't hear me. I told myself, don't take it out. Just leave it on there during fashion week. I took it off, and sure enough, I lost it. I to order another one. I've been saying that all summer. I've yet to do it. I don't know if there's any better hearing me here. Um, not the wind. Then there's construction. So anyway, yeah, I'm heading into the line. So the fitting day event in Soho. Um, well, the only thing I want to get to, like I said, this year. Uh, out east, I went to Jackson Heights, uh, we saw this past 
next weekend, which I'll make the end of the video. I'm gonna go next weekend, so I'm gonna come back on one video. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to normal before everything goes back to uh, being a lockdown in the winter, which I'm really not looking forward to. Just, anyway, I'm gonna head in soon. So I just finished uh, interviewing uh, two designers. So the truck, it's funny. And then we're gonna be interviewing another one. It's gonna be on uh, Flying Solo's uh, channel, so that's really cool. The weather's holding out. It's not raining. It's not super sunny and hot, so it's actually kind of pretty perfect. We're doing a lot of interviews outdoors, but it's easier to hear out here than um, inside. So um, yeah, it's so, uh, pretty busy, and uh, I'll talk with you guys. your first time at Fashion Week? Absolutely. Oh, very exciting. You're very excited for that. Yeah. I'm excited to see the show and the footwear that's going to go with it. That's a lot of work. And how do you how do you do the natural pigments? Sorry? How do you do the natural pigments? So um, it's natural tanned and then they put the natural pigments in there to color the uh, leather. And I get the leather from Italy. It took me a long while to find like the right leather and the right thickness of the leather. But it's all it turned out really, really nicely and I'm really happy with it. Yeah, the colors that. are beautiful. I mean, yeah, really I beautiful. love this like all different colors and these are for glasses. Ah. So you can like put them like everywhere and you put the glasses like um, on the outside, you can put them together. You can like put it to your bag or you can put it on your trousers. Oh, that's so so cool. you have a nice little design yeah, it's like accessory. Yeah, a little on the, bucket, on the, on the uh, belt bag. Yeah. yeah. A little big on that. That's and cool. like all the um, straps are exchangeable so you can like put long straps oh, wow. to it. They are like made of um, sustainable cotton. Oh wow. And you have like 
these are like key finders or you can like um, put them on any of uh, your yeah. bags so it's like you get, everything is exchangeable so everything is like, you know, exchangeable and you, know, you can use them a long them. bag you put like a long strap to it so you have like uh, Yes. Crossover bag, and it works with all the bags. Oh, that's so cool! And you guys, and you sell here at um, Flying Solo. Um, so no, I'm not selling yet at Flying Solo. Oh, you're not. Um, it's the first time here. I just opened. Um, I started my uh, brand a year ago. Oh, a year ago. Yeah, I came from uh, Germany, and uh, it's the first time I'm uh, a fashion week. Fashion week. Very exciting. And I'll see what's happening. Are you based in uh, New York now or in Germany? No, I'm Germany. Okay. And which which city in Germany? Um, I will be in Berlin. In Berlin. I'm, okay. Like, from Prague, but I'm going to move to Berlin. Now. Very exciting. Very exciting. S sassy scraps. And what inspired you to uh, start designing and calling it Sassy Scraps? I call it that because I use pieces of fabric that I have laying around to upcycle clothing. Oh. And um, it could range anything from a tablecloth to a uh, pillowcase to oh, wow. uh, drapery. <laughs> so I just so you know, all different together. types of fabrics and then putting it all together, like like you said, tablecloths or towels, old clothing, and you piece it all back together right. into different right. I go new garments. And then I take I look at all my inventory at home of all the, the scraps that I have and then I use them accordingly. Wow. Excellent. I love that piece that you just showed me. This, this was a real army fatigue. Wow. The rolling stone. I love the yeah. detail on the bottom there. Yeah, just very, very, very blue. cool. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've, I've been doing it for probably about five years now. I started with the jewelry. I make jewelry also. So oh, okay. The jewelry are out kind of scraps also. So scrap of, scraps of leather um, and sometimes belt buckles and little things like that. Little trinkets and then I put it together with ribbons. Oh, excellent. And uh, is this your first time showing at Fashion Week? Well, congratulations. Thank you. That was very exciting. It was very nice speaking with you. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Oh. I love the buttons, the detail. Wow, the buttons. Versace! Those are expensive buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we're using where we're going to travel. Well, I'm heading out now. Just, just kind of wrapping up. I got everything I needed. I have another event to go to tomorrow, so I'm going to head out. Uh, downtown looks pretty normal, as far as I can see. I think it looks too out of the ordinary. If you're just coming down today, it's a little less crowded. That's the biggest difference I noticed. Um, a lot more outside seating, of course. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna kind of show you guys a little bit more as I as I head out. I'm gonna show you guys a bit more of uh, what's going on downtown. But it's okay, you know, a little more um, positive than I was expecting. So that's that's good. There's also 9/11, uh, so I can't forget that. Um, anyway, so let me show you guys a bit more. They don't, they're not in that office anymore, and uh, obviously the behind it has closed, so it's good and bad, good and bad. Yeah, it's kind of day two for me for uh, New York Fashion Week, or pre-New York Fashion Week. Um, these events are kind of pre-New York Fashion Week. New York Fashion Week itself, as you know, it's probably going to be four days, um, very, not as many shows. They're all going to be at Spring Studios on the rooftop, limited to 50 people, that's all in, including everyone. 
I mentioned before. So I'm gonna do some pre uh, past week events. This is something. Um, looking forward to it. Martin couldn't make it yesterday, but I'm meeting him uh, today. And I met another great photographer who I've been chatting with on Instagram. So that was really cool. And uh, really nice day. It's a uh, sunny, dry, not humid cooler side, so I'm really enjoying that. It's actually pretending it's cooler, as far as I'm concerned, but um, I'll take it. I have this top up here that was a dress. I got it second hand and I cut it off, made it into a top. I not like it as a dress, it looks body crop for me, so I kind of just turned it into a top and I, I kind of like it. I'm wearing jeans and I'm like wearing sneakers, can be kind of simple, but a streetwear shirt today, so anyway, the train's here.
Hi everyone, today is technically day one of Fashion Week, but it's day three for me. I went to the um, Lion Soul fitting day on Saturday, and then yesterday I went to um, the Street Fashion Week event in Brooklyn. And today I'm going to the first show of the Flying Soul, the actual show itself, so that's pretty exciting. I should get into a, um, a second show, that's kind of cool considering the circumstances. It's a nice day. A little bit more humidity in the air than I would like, but I'm gonna do it. It's not raining. It's gonna be on the roof, so it's good that it's not gonna be raining. Got my coffee here, my mask on. Oh, there's like no one here. Yeah, I have to go up a little bit. Um, nothing new. Everything I'm wearing, nothing new. I really, like I said, got nothing from Fashion Week, so I wasn't planning on going to any show, so I didn't really get any uh, new clothing, I didn't pull anything, I didn't do anything, so, on the way up. Anyway, so, this is my Ted Baker jacket. <clears throat> I love this jacket, it's so cool. Lovely, um, the embroidery, it's just beautiful. This is the fake leather, leather dress I've got at Zara. And I was wearing jeans and the Michael Kors uh, sneakers, which had a bit, uh, same gold bag. I'm like, not, I'm not even trying. I'm not even trying this season. Everything's on repeat. You know, I, 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 the only thing I wore new was the other day with a new top and a new, new headband. So, I have these things here, put my hair back. I have a very low hairline, as I mentioned before in some videos, so I can't really have it hanging down with the curl it. Um, it's just too much in my face, so I put it back. Um, so, yeah, the show is downtown on Broadway somewhere. 433 Broadway, I think it is. I have to look up on Google Maps. It's not a spin studio, but it is on a rooftop. And then tomorrow, I may go uh, shoot some street style and running up with a couple of photographers I know I'm watching. I don't need much to shoot as far as attendees. Obviously, there's not a lot of attendees, but um, it's mainly press and then models. So, I guess we'll see. So, I'm going to go uh, sit down and finish this coffee before my train comes. I see here my, my Maddie here. Which has already chipped, it's like a little like the same rings. Anyway, so, oh, one more thing I want to show you guys. I, when I was last week at my friend's house, I got the Dashing Beaver Gloss nail amputees. You just kind of put it on. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to do that on camera and see how that goes. It looked really good on my friend Angela, so I was like, oh, I'm going to be able to do that. And it's supposed to last 14 days, so um, I'll have to show you guys that at some point. But today, it's going to be a little bit of fashion week. I'm very grateful that I can actually uh, get to the show this season. I want a nice break from the monotony of being in quarantine and you know, not working and just, you know, when I work, I don't want the computer all day long. I'm working on my personal stuff, but, you know, I don't get out of the house. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the show. So, uh, I'm backstage at the Flying Soul Press uh, deck. Uh, the show's gonna start about a half an hour, so here they're just taking on uh, interviews and photos. Uh, yeah, I decided that it starts at 12. It's drizzling a little bit, everyone doesn't get worse, so that would kind of suck if it starts raining. But it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it's raining. And they can a little bit more money, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't uh, continue to rain. And I'm gonna show you guys what's going on here, and then uh, do the show. Down. You have know, great seats, can't complain. It was a little bit cooler, the only thing. Other than that, it's uh, great. And the show's gonna start in a little while, and I'm here with my photographer friend that I met on Instagram. We've been chatting for a while on Instagram, and then we finally met in person. It was great. And yeah, just ready, ready for you to get going and uh, enjoy the day and be grateful that I'm here.
three, and then I watched the two on four um, on Zoom. I shot a lot of some, some stuff uh, at the media deck and some street, little street style. Not a lot, not like I usually shoot, but I can fill it in. Just to show you guys a little bit here of uh, what my hat looks like um, these days. I'm heading home, so I'll show you guys uh, a little bit more of my hat. And so our shows go, but how it wraps up fashion week this season for me. And, well, uh, one day I'm trying to go out to a little street style. And tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, we'll see. Um, so yeah, glad I got to go to these shows and find solo. I'm glad I had them. I'm glad I got to attend. A little bit of normalcy and, you know, not such a great trying time. So, anyway, so stay tuned for some shows and stuff but when you're walking it hangs you know as you're walking it's kind of banging and I have my backpack on which I need backpack here for my cameras which I got at Zara in Paris and anyway so on your legs and whatever so this is much better I need to get some more belt bags and then I don't I didn't get any footage I should have gotten footage of this when I was there there are these guys selling faux oh, should, should I say designer inspired bags Oh my god, these fakes are on another level. Oh, I'm really curious, like buy a couple and then compare them to the real thing. I don't own the real thing, <laughs> but I know people that do. And then I can really compare and see, you know. Um, I'm really curious, because I'm just, I was just shocked at like how kind of realistic that they looked. Um, I have mixed feelings about that, obviously, you know, 
fakes are uh, that in many ways. You know, you, you can see even in all the company and the design of companies and things like that. But on the other hand, you know, honestly, when you hear stories of these high-end companies burning clothes, burning, you know, stuff they don't sell uh, to maintain that exclusivity, which I, on one hand I do understand that, but on the other hand, it's kind of like just wow. I mean, what kind of what kind of world are we living in? I don't know. You know. Um, all the excess and then the clothes and watching the documentary the other day and piles and piles and piles of excess clothes. I mean at least I guess they're burning them, not putting them in the not putting them in land, not that the land will like guess that's better. I don't know, I don't know what to think anymore. And then the fact that there a lot of these designer brands are raising their prices during this pandemic with mass unemployment and everything is not going well. It's like this mass unemployment that people not doing well and these small group of people doing well in the stock market and buying design of luxury goods and they're actually making money. It's just kind of insane. So on the other hand, I kind of don't feel bad. People buy things. I don't know. On the other hand, it's kind of like, it's a toss up. I, I don't know. This is the world we're living in. I don't know what to say anymore. Anyway, let's just keep this positive. Being positive. There's so much negativity in the world. I have a lot of stresses in my life right now. It's been a long time, a lot of stress in my life. So let's just keep it positive. And going to fashion week, going to be with people that I like. People who share my passion, people who are very nice, I thought would be nice. So, looking forward to that. And together with my tribe, and I'm enjoying this lovely day of shooting. So, I'll see you guys in the city. Bye! Well, I'm outside here at Spring Studios. It's still pretty early. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, action right now, not a lot of photogs, not a lot of attendees. Well, no attendees that I can see. I think her makeup's just starting to arrive, few models, but very quiet. I'm waiting for my other photo truck friends to show up. Uh, Vlad's gonna be here very soon, he's at 4 1. Uh, it's about 12 30. Um, yeah, very quiet. You know, not your usual fashion week, that's for sure. Right now, I'm like pretty much the only photo talk here. Although there was someone I arrived, I think they went around back. So I'm gonna get some footage um, back there um, on the alley as well. But yeah, hoping things will pick up uh, a little bit later in the afternoon in the new normal. For Fashion Week in 